The Bruins in blue, the Jayhawks in white, and this crowd of 18,000 is electric. Collison and UCLA gets the first chance. Aflalo takes it in, can't hit. Khan got a piece of it. Aflalo gets it back, and it falls. Aaron Aflalo immediately off the tap, attacking the basket off the dribble. He's been struggling from the field. Only five of his last 22 coming into this ballgame, getting something through the net early, important. Into the big man, Khan over Mata, followed by Kansas, not there. Ship ahead to Collison. Pulls it up, ship the baseline. Can't hit. Brandon Rush brings it down for Kansas. Kansas needs to get back quicker in transition. They are allowing UCLA to get down the floor. That was uh, Mario Chalmers on the drive, and Aflalo picked up the. No, it's Collison with the foul. No, Aflalo, that was the whistle. This is Brandon Rush, six for six against Southern Illinois, but misses his first attempt today. Out of bounds, last touch by Collison of UCLA. Luke Richard Mba Amute had to switch out on Brandon Rush, who put the ball on the floor, but an excellent job by Lorenzo Mata, who has really done a nice job in this NCAA tournament of guarding inside, staying tough, and really challenging shots. You get nothing easy against UCLA. Strong move by Rush and a blocking foul against UCLA. Mata. And you can see, Dick, that Kansas resolute in putting the ball on the floor and attacking off the dribble. Bill Self knows it's going to be very difficult to run their sets, to run offense against this UCLA defense. He wants his team to break it off, put the ball on the floor, and try to create help and recover situations. Russia's brother, Jerron, played two years at UCLA. Ben Holland did his fourth season on the Bruin bench, as is the case for Bill Self in his fourth year in Lawrence. And the game tied as Rush connects on his two free throws. That's something that Kansas had a problem with in Southern Illinois in the semifinal regionals as they made only 10 of 19. There's a steal knocked away and out of bounds off Kansas. Very nearly a turnover for Bill Self. He's taken three different programs to the Elite Eight but never to the Final Four. Big, big uh, challenge for him as one of the outstanding coaches to get to that championship final. Well, what a great matchup between Brandon Rush, one of the best defenders in the country, and Aaron Aflalo. Rush has the size and the athleticism to really bother every shot Aflalo puts up. He got a piece of that shot. Here's that trap by UCLA. They like to trap ball screens. You've got to be a second passer out of this, and Julian Wright threw it away. Collison with Rush behind him, and he used the rim to protect against the block from behind. That is one thing that Kansas cannot afford to do, and that's turn the ball over. They've turned it over 19 times against Southern Illinois. Inside is Sasha Khan. Give great credit to Julian Wright for making that pass. He may be 6'9", but he is an outstanding passer and can be a playmaker for Kansas in the middle. Josh Ship outside. Now a follow over Rush. Mba Mute. Little jump hook is there for the sophomore from Cam Cameroon. Mba Mute has struggled coming into this game. Only four of his last 15, but a terrific move down low, getting the low block. Another foul against UCLA. That's Darren Collison's first. Three team fouls on the Bruins. Julian Wright putting the ball on the floor, going baseline by Lorenzo Mata, but cannot throw it up for grabs. Darren Collison, that's his 74th steal of the year. Tying him with Tyus Edney for third best all time at UCLA in a single season. Chalmers motions the play. The winner of this game will meet the winner in the Midwest. Florida, Oregon in the semifinals in Atlanta. Inside the con. Not a defense. Now the double team. And on the side, nice soft 10-footer by Julian Wright, the 6'8 sophomore from Chicago Heights. UCLA came again with its post-to-post -post doubles, which it does in just about every game against a good big guy. Sasha Khan handled it well, but it was that second pass that found the open shooter. It's not always going to be the pass out of the post. That second pass important. 
Foul on Chalmers. He got a piece of the ball, but the wrist as well. First Kansas foul. Frenetic early pace. Uh, this crowd just so full of enthusiasm at the very start. In fact, an hour ago, they were yelling and cheering, both bands fighting each other to try to get the musical time. Well, just the pace that you would expect in this game. Both teams trying to push it up the court to beat the other defense down to get an easy look. Otherwise, they'll really have to grind it out against outstanding defenses. A follow for three as Brandon Rush fell down. A great sign for UCLA is Aaron Aflalo getting off to a good start. Wright kicks the ball, goes after it, and recovers. Great effort by Wright. Rush takes it in and scores. UCLA lead on the run. This is a uncharacteristic way off mark was Aflalo, but Mata saves, but was on the baseline, out of bounds to Kansas. Bad shot there by Aaron Aflalo. He tried to get off one quickly, but this was a terrific move and read off the screen. Brandon Rush went over the top of that screen. The fade to the corner, Rush falling to the ground. But you can see Dick UCLA trying to get the ball inbounds quickly and beat Kansas's defense down the floor. Great pass. Good give and go. And inside with a left hand is right. He has a couple of quick goals, and Kansas leads for the first time. Kansas runs a lot of ball screens. That's what that was, a ball screen and Roll to the basket off the reversal. An excellent job. An excellent delivery by Sasha Khan. A fly low with a bounce pass. Shift. No foul. Good hands by Rush to save. Go up with a two. And the foul. Score! What an effort by Russell Robinson, the 6'1 junior guard from New York. Timeout UCLA. Well, this is an outstanding backcourt trio that UCLA can put on the floor, but they are facing an outstanding defensive team in Kansas, especially their guards. Their guards are outstanding defenders. There's the trap. UCLA getting a taste of its own medicine. Russell Robinson, number three for Kansas, one of the finest defenders, not only in the Big 12, but in the country, now guarding Josh Shipp. Shipp a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger, but I'm not sure he's any tougher than Russell Robinson. This is Sharon Collins, a freshman on Collison, and Collison has it picked off by the man you were talking about, Robinson. He heads the break to Collins. Such an alert defender. This Kansas team has really come out strong on the defensive end. They've taken it right to UCLA. Wright who has hit his last two shots from inside and Collins no basket foul they got away from the ball no three, three second the violation UCLA and Kansas uh, alike in another manner neither team has a senior on the roster Kansas with a lead three five and a half minutes in Sharon Collins taking on Darren Collison. Collins just a freshman, but boy, is he strong. And you've got to be strong with it when Kansas goes after it. Robinson just took it right away from Ship. From the blind side, Robinson, his second steal. Wright has it picked off and then tied up. Dick, you've got to be ball strong in this game. Every player on the floor is solid defensively and they reach with the intention of taking it from you so you got to be strong with it. Darrell Arthur into the game for the first time. This is his first shot so Arthur a freshman and Collins a freshman both McDonald All-Americas for Kansas see their first duty and that may be the one market difference in these two teams. They bring in Bill Self two freshmen both averaging around 10 a game off the bench. UCLA does not have that firepower. They brought on number 20, Michael Roll. That's Roll with the ball. Want to make Roll put the ball on the floor. He's a spot-up shooter and a very good one. And Baumute looking off to see where he was going to go with the ball and lost track out of bounds. The problem, there's nothing for Mbaamute to do with the ball out there when Aaron Aflalo drove the lane to drive and kick. Mba Amute is not a guy that's going to knock a shot down from that place on the court. Took his eye off it. Another turnover for UCLA. So the backcourt now for the Jayhawks. Robinson and Collins. This is Collins. The stocky 5'11", 205-pound freshman from Chicago. Brandon Rush. And now Darnell Jackson. Another reserve sent in by Bill Self. 
And just going with a couple of ball screens on the right side. Need to reverse it. Collins pulls up for an eight footer. Batted out by Ship. This is Collison. One against three. Takes it in anyway. And scores. What an effort by the speedy Collison. Speedy but also skillful. Darren Collison, one of the most efficient players, not only in the Pac-10, but in the country. Sharon Collison gets around roll as it's stripped away. And then a foul on Collins trying to get it back. Again, the importance of being strong with the ball when you're headed into traffic. Collison with the little hop, skip, and a jump, but keeping the ball away from the long arms of Brandon Rush, trying to put pressure on Collison. A terrific job in transition of navigating traffic. Collison in the backcourt for UCLA, and Collins in the backcourt for Kansas. Alfred Aboya, number 12, in for the first time. That's Aboya with the ball. Ship fires from three-point range, well off the mark. Jackson rebounds. And Kansas not even guarding a boy out front. Oh, what a pass and catch and score. Darrell Arthur. He has six off the bench to lead Kansas. You've really got to get some pressure to take away vision, even in transition. Roll has it stripped by Chalmers. Kansas in a first half of steal after steal. And then in the hurry, it's Chalmers dribbling the ball out of bounds. To these young masters of basketball, Kansas and UCLA, in the battle to make it to that Final Four in Atlanta next weekend. 11.47 left, opening half. Kansas leads by three. Brandon Rush continuing to guard Aaron Aflalo, chasing him off those screens, trying to make sure he gets late pressure on the shot so that Aflalo can't get a clean look. Aflalo has it blocked by Rush, but it goes right to Aboya. No foul. And UCLA's Aboya gets it back. He's in heavy traffic. And there's the 35-second clock. The ugly buzzer for a coach. A violation goes to Kansas. It's music to Bill Selt's ears, though, because his defense was so strong, not just on the perimeter, the great job by Brandon Rush to close out to Aaron Aflalo, get a piece of that shot, but also Darrell Arthur and Darnell Jackson inside, stopping Aboya and Mata. Just nine minutes into the game, and the hit by Darnell Jackson, the 6'8 junior from Oklahoma City, as Kansas using that stout defense. They have five blocks already. Well, they've come out attacking on defense. They're not reacting to UCLA. They're making UCLA react to them. Collison, a 45% shooter from outside the line, hits his first three-point attempt. Collison with seven to lead to the Bruins. Turnover, ship brings the blue clad UCLA Bruins into the offensive end. Bamute with a solid move to the baseline. Well, that's, that's some offense, and Bamute has not been showing thus far, not only in the NCAA tournament, but over the last 10 games. Chalmers takes it inside and sets up Jackson. What a beautiful feed by Chalmers, his second of this first half. UCLA going to have to figure out a way to stay in front of Kansas ball handlers. Kansas breaking the Bruins down off the dribble. Collison, they try to trap him, and a foul. Collins with a hand check. That'll be his second. Kansas does a great job of setting ball screens and then rolling to the basket. And if nobody picks up the roll man, Mario Chalmers just lobs that up beautifully to Darnell Jackson. Jackson had a terrific game in the regional semifinals, and he is picking up right where he left off. Roderick Stewart from Seattle was a freshman at Southern California. His twin brother, Roderick, playing for the Trojans this year. He's in, number five for Kansas. Mbamute gets it out to Collison. And Robinson back in the game is checking in defensively, and he overpowers, does Collison. Mata with that short range pass. You know, Dick, usually a coach can point out who his best defender is pretty easily, but Bill Self's got Brandon Rush, he's got Russell Robinson, he's got Mario Chalmers, all spectacular defenders. And speaking of defense, Josh Ship harassing the Kansas Jayhawks, and he forces the turnover. Ship goes out. Mike Roll, Michael Roll back in for the Bruins. So it's Roll, Aflalo, and Mata on the front line. Ba Mute, in essence, another uh, forward, and Collison, the point guard, with the ball. He 
16 with six turnovers. We've reached the 10 minute mark. The halfway mark of this first half. And there's another steal by Kansas. It's right the other way. Right with a right pass to Robinson. All right, how about a guy 6'9 in Julian Wright running the break like a point guard? And what a great job by Russell Robinson to square his shoulders to the basket. Another turnover by UCLA. Oh, Jackson anticipating that lob pass and darting in front of Mata. Inside, not there, and over the back. Darnell Jackson of the Kansas Jayhawks, his first foul. Kansas off the turnover. Julian Wright, 6'9", and incredibly skilled for his size, for anyone's size, but a great job on the delivery and a great job by Russell Robinson to square his shoulders. Nobody could block that without fouling him first. UCLA sends in Russell Westbrook, zero, the first appearance for the freshman from Hawthorne, California. This is Westbrook as he gives Collison a blow. Full court pressure by Kansas trying to slow the advance by UCLA, perhaps get the Bruins to turn it over, and UCLA calling a set play in the half court. Seven field goals for UCLA, eight turnovers forced by this tenacious Kansas defense. Inside of Boya, and it's out of bounds off a Kansas defender. And it's testimony to Bill Self's defense. You talk about Kansas's offense. They've won 14 in a row, averaging 83 points a game. But what's overlooked, they're number two in the nation, allowing 37%. But Aflalo ignores that statistic and hits another three. Make a chip from the wide wing to hit the three. And there's a steal by Westbrook. He takes it all away. And the freshman gives UCLA the lead, 21-20. The West Regional Final thus far living up to all the expectations of one point game. Each team has enjoyed the lead. And just when one team delivers a blow, the other comes back with a haymaker and connects. UCLA with their great post to post doubles and getting the turnovers and the easy scores at the other end. Outstanding defensive play by the Bruins. Brandon Rush, number 25, returns and inside is the big man. And uh, Sean, Sasha Khan has his fourth point. Khan got a great angle to the basket. Another turnover by UCLA, the poor delivery. And pulling up his right, can't hit it. Aboya sends Roll the other way. Roll to Mata, and he's blocked, but a foul is called. That looked pretty clean as Khan, born and raised in Russia, came to the U.S. as a high school student, made the defensive play his first foul. Well, here comes the man who has brought new adventure to free throw shooting to Westwood, Lorenzo Mata, shooting 38% for the year. But the good news for Bruin fans, he's made 18 of the last 30. That's 60%, doubling his average. And UCLA only shoots 65% on the season from the line, but against Southern Illinois, uh, it, in the regional semifinals, uh, Kansas played Southern Illinois, but in the regional semis, they went 23 of 26, did the Bruins. Against the Pitt Panthers to advance to this game. Looking for his first point, Mata, of this game, and a chance to tie. And he misses both. Too familiar a scene for UCLA fans, and Mata goes out, and Baumute returns, ball to UCLA on the side. So it's Ship, Aboya, Collison now back in, Aflalo, and Ubu and Bamute for the Bruins. Robinson, Khan, Wright, Rush, and Chalmers, the starting five for Kansas. Way outside, and Bamute. And Rush clears. That's not been his shot traditionally, but he has been much more offensively aggressive in this game. Quick pass to Khan. He can't hit it. And Kansas keeps it alive as Khan fought it, fought for possession and able to get it outside to Robinson. UCLA has not done a great job in transition with the big guys. They need to meet them at the free throw line and keep them from getting low post position. In the corner is Rush. And he gets the kind shooter's bounce. 
Six points for Rush. Rush has shot it so well in the NCAA tournament, over 70%. And coming into this game, he was seven of eight from three-point range in NCAA tournament games. Well, Mute around Khan, but look at the traffic he draws. And it's a save for Aboya. You like his aggress aggressiveness, but I think UCLA would like to make a couple of more passes, get this Kansas defense to move. The Bruins outsized inside by the Kansas length and height. Collison with Robinson gets a pick and then loses the ball. Another turnover. I think he was looking around for the next Kansas help defender. Ten turnovers for UCLA this first half. Six minutes to go. Unusual for UCLA to turn it over so much, but this is the best defensive team they've played. Chalmers and Wright thought he was fouled. Back out it comes to Rush, and he hits the three. And Kansas enjoys the biggest game of the lead of the game at 27-21. Kansas takes a 27-21 lead. We talked about rush hour for Kansas. And uh, indeed, that three-pointer by Rush extending the Jayhawk lead, and he is eight for nine in the tournament outside the line. Now Brandon Rush is such a solid player in every regard, an outstanding defender. When he came to Kansas, I think people had the idea that he might be kind of a selfish scorer, but Bill Self says not at all. In fact, he's almost too unselfish. He needs to be more point-hungry, looking to score more, because he is such an outstanding scorer. Collison on the bench, so Mba Mute had to bring it up. And look at the quick hands of Robinson to slap it away from the freshman Russell Westbrook. Russell Robinson has really been strong on the defensive end. UCLA double-digit turnovers already. They only had 14 turnovers all game long against Pittsburgh. Aflalo works his way free for the three, but it's short. Mata collects the rebound. Oh, he's going to throw it away. But fortunately for UCLA, Rush tried to reach in for the steal, deflected it out of bounds. Aflalo cannot get off an open look against Brandon Rush. Rush has been with him step for step when he's recovered late. His length and athleticism really bothering Aflalo. Aflalo needs to use a shot fake, see if he can get Rush off of the floor and then attack off the dribble. Aflalo is 6'5". Rush listed at 6'6", but looks much taller. Yeah, his arms are longer than 6'6". Chip, no good from the three-point range. Six-point advantage, Kansas. 5.09 to go. Wright has it stolen. Chip. And Arthur hustling down court and Robinson both bumping on the dribbler and uh, the foul will go to Robinson his first whenever the ball goes into the post for Kansas UCLA is coming with a post to post double that time Darrell Arthur kicked it out to Julian Wright but Wright wasn't strong with it he needs to catch face the defense and then make a play he's just going a little bit too fast Wright given a breather Collison meanwhile comes in for UCLA gets it to ship and it's ruled a block another one for Kansas and another and a foul whistle better job by Josh Ship on that second opportunity of going right into the body of Darrell Arthur. The first time he went straight up, a terrific job to get that ball inside. But watch Josh Ship go right into the defender and create the contact into the chest of Darrell Arthur. That's why he's going to the free throw line. Ship from a very talented athletic family. His father Joe played football at USC. His brother Joe led the Pacific Ten in scoring at the University of California and his kid brother is a freshman and an outstanding prospect at Arizona State. Well the first three fouls of the game were whistled against UCLA and now seven in a row chalked against Kansas as UCLA is in the bonus 27 23 the score. Collison does a great job of putting pressure on the basketball but Robinson's been able to get past him. Inside Chalmers, rebound ship. Oh, top speed and out of control. He gets it picked from behind. Kansas so quick on the transition defensively. Well, Chalmers showing that great backflow defense to tap it away. And on the follow, Arthur with a basket and a foul. Anytime you go after a shot block, it opens up the offensive glass. And Darnell Jackson, who has been outstanding, simply outstanding off the bench for Kansas, 
in the regional semifinal against Southern Illinois and tonight against UCLA was right there on the spot to get that offensive rebound jam. It's Mata's second foul so he takes a rest with four and a half minutes to go. Roll comes in for Josh Ship. And with the speed of the game that really isn't what Ben Howland wanted. That's the Kansas dictating the game at their pace and with UCLA hurrying the ball into the offensive end Jay Billis more mistakes have been made. Well Josh Schiff just tried to get it into the middle of the floor and you've got to be mindful of Kansas's back flow defense. You really need to get the ball to Darren Collison and let him bring it up. Six point deficit roll fires from three point range and hits. That's why he's in there a three point shot specialist. He rarely tries anything inside the line. Well he's so good with his shot preparation coming off screens and then preparing himself to shoot when the ball arrives and Mario Chalmers just a little bit late getting there. Rush pulls up and pops not there and Bahamute to Collison. Some great athletes on the court. Mbamute takes it inside. Jackson denies, but the pass is successful to Aboya, who has his first basket, and it's back to a one-point game. This is as aggressive as Mbamute has been offensively since he played in Maui. Chalmers goes down, and a tripping foul will be called against UCLA's Aboya. His first. What defense for these Jayhawks 11 turnovers eight steals in this first half five blocks and yet UCLA has managed to stay within one well, UCLA has done a good job from three point territory when they haven't turned it over Kansas hasn't stolen it from them they've gotten good shots and that's going to be a charging foul on Brandon Rush he maneuvered up the lane to set up the outside shot but banged into the Bruin defender his first foul. Well he didn't come to a jump stop and Alfred Aboya did a nice job of getting into the lane and getting in front of him and UCLA has been talking at their timeout about being stronger with the ball. They have to protect it against Kansas's defense. Aboya back out to Mbamute the two Cameroon sophomores on the UCLA squad now it's their star Oflalo pulling up and hitting. UCLA back in front by one. A follow so strong when he puts it on the floor and comes up to shoot it. Nobody's taking it away from him. Look at Howland across the way. He's playing defense with his team. Rush. Battle inside. It went to Kansas and then out of bounds to the Jayhawks. A follow knocking that shot down and he is not pleased with how many people are banging into him so he's banging into them first. Two and a half minutes to go in this opening half. Rush has it stripped away by ship ahead to a follow and he manages to control. Both, both teams are so strong defensively. You cannot afford to be weak with that basketball. You've got to protect it because you've got strong and alert defenders that are slapping at it on every possession. Defense on both sides forcing those turnovers 12 to 10. UCLA guilty of two more than the Jayhawks. Well, from a defensive efficiency standpoint, we're looking at two of the top five defenses in the country. Rush takes it strongly, but can't score. Mbamute clears. Collison. Aflalo inside. Nine points for Aaron Aflalo to lead the Bruins. Kansas trailing UCLA by three a minute and a half to go Chalmers not there but quick hands by Jackson and he draws the foul everything contested on the way to the basket it's been hard for Kansas when they put the ball on the floor and get into the lane to get a clean look at the rim and UCLA has done a great job in transition of taking the ball the other way what a move by Aaron Aflalo a possession before that timeout incredible sixth team foul on UCLA but this was a shooting violation so on Mbamute's first foul Darnell Jackson is on the line he averaged five and a half points on the season 
And he has six in this regional final today. And go down for Jackson, who's a 67% performer from the line. UCLA going into a box set. They'll look, be looking for a follow coming off a stagger. Allison sets up the pattern. Good hands by Schiff. That was a tough pass. Aflalo and rushes on him like a hawk. A great read by Aflalo. He was being played inside by Rush. He just popped out to the wing. Four on the clock. Collison can't hit the three. Chalmers speeds it into the offensive end, and Rush slams it home. Boy, how about that pass by Mario Chalmers? And what a sprint by the wings for Kansas. Oh, that was a magnificent, magnificent example of how to run the fast break. And one of the reasons why the Jayhawks averaged 83 points a game in this 14-game winning streak. Well, they played great defense. The shot by Collison Short bounced out toward the other basket, and another great read by Aflalo. Aflalo trying the three. But there was a blocking foul inside against UCLA against Alfred Aboya. Aboya just moved on that screen. He just needs to stay stationary and let Aflalo use him because Aflalo is a master at reading screens, how the defender is playing him. He understands how to get open. Aboya doesn't have to help him that much. About a six second difference in the clocks. So we're down to the final minute. Chalmers spinning inside. Has it denied, gets it back. And then feeds it to Robinson, who misses from close range. UCLA with 20 seconds. There's no hurry for the Bruins. But they have played this first half in that manner. Now Flalo pulls it out. Boy, Russell Robinson is never going to get an easier opportunity, but you give credit to UCLA for challenging so many shots. Flalo waiting till four, till three, till two. And the shot from the corner is there. Oh, my, at the buzzer. Aaron Aflalo, the player of the year in the Pac-10, sends the Bruins to the locker room with a four-point lead. Ten national titles in 12 years for Wooden, and then Jim Herrick's Bruins in 1995, winning the 11th, most of any college program. UCLA gets the first opportunity in the second half. Bob Mute to Aflalo, Aflalo Collison, Mata in the hole, ship on the wing. Same matchups as in the first half. Rush on a follow. What a heavyweight matchup of two great players and two great defenders. Ship draws Chalmers, Collison, and Robinson. Down to 10 on the shot clock. Ship takes it in. Mata has to shoot from longer range, and he's well short. Good defense by Kansas. And a nice job by Mario Chalmers. I think Ship may be a little bit stronger, but he wasn't able to put the ball on the deck to try to get around Chalmers. Chalmers, Robinson, Rush, Khan, and Wright. Same starting five for Kansas. As Mata goes down, and with it, his third foul. Russell Robinson doing a very nice job of attacking off the ball screen. UCLA with their big guys trying to trap off that ball screen to extend out and keep Kansas from getting anything off of the use of ball screens. But Russell Robinson doing a great job of attacking. Robinson goes inside and Khan recovers. So Mata, 49 seconds into the second half, draws his third foul. He's out, a boy in. Chalmers down the lane and then throws it away, looking for Rush to clear more toward the corner. And Kansas has been trying to put the ball on the deck to get into the lane for his help and recover situations, but UCLA has been very good rotating, and they're not just rotating to be there. They're coming over strong to stop somebody. Ship with Chalmers. Chalmers has set a Kansas record for steals with three in the first half. He's passed Darnell Valentine. Most steals ever by a Jayhawk. And he's all over the ball with help from Wright. And these uh, Kansas players do indeed. They can score and they can defend. Wright doing a good job of coming over from the help side and dropping down to knock that ball away. What a great battle that's being waged right now. Almost the game within the game. Brandon Rush guarding Aaron Aflalo. Collison, time running down. Eight on the shot clock. Collison pulls up. That's a tough leaner. 
Wright brings it the other way for the white clad Jayhawks from Lawrence Kansas and UCLA in the second half has not gotten anything no look at the basket that's been open for the Bruins Chalmers pulls up and he is denied lead pass to a follow and he takes it home. UCLA has gotten some easy baskets in transition and you call them easy but they've done a lot of hard work to get those easy scores on the defensive end. What great help side defense by UCLA. Thus far in the tournament that has not been the UCLA style. They've been grinding it up but they're using their quickness. No shot on the follow and taking it inside and scoring is Mario Chalmers. So third opportunity the charm for the Jayhawks. Kansas must have thought there was a lid on these baskets because they've had some opportunities inside. That dunk attempt off the rebound by Julian Wright just wouldn't go down but an alert play by Mario Chalmers to get his first points of the game and then the steal his fourth in the game and right back to Chalmers and a good move by Mbamute. How did he get his hand on the ball. Again being strong with the ball and another opportunity for something easy for Kansas missed. Well, Callison takes the handoff and will slow the pace. UCLA has been winning games primarily in the late season and in the tournament scoring in the 60s. UCLA into their continuity offense little slice cut back pick and then screen for the screener. Now they have to hurry down to four. Aflalo pulls up from three. Oh. And Aaron Aflalo. Aaron Augustin Aflalo. Triple A hits the three. And UCLA celebrates the biggest lead of the game. These fans who have used their voices uh, in full choir in San Jose can use one of those coats. Outside it's right. Now Collins, Sharon Collins, the freshman from Chicago into the game. And it's Mata who's returned deflecting the pass intended for right. UCLA's help side defense is outstanding. They are very alert. Everyone sees the ball. They open up to it effectively and they move as the ball moves. Two of the great defensive teams in college basketball squaring off for a chance to go to the final four. Rush draws a flalo just as it's Rush uh, defending a follow when they go to the other end. Collins takes it inside partially deflected and a Boya rips down the rebound Collison ahead to shift. Misses the dunk Mata follows. What a great play by Lorenzo Mata not to give up on the play. His first basket of the game. UCLA opens up a nine point advantage. Khan double team. Rush to right. And right. Athletic physical drive to the hole. He has six. Nothing has been easy in this game. Everything has been contested. And UCLA doing a great job of going from defense to offense. Nearly five minutes gone. Second half. Ruins by seven with the ball. Collins has it stripped away. There's another steal by Robinson and to the other end and the foul. As Wright tries to take it home and is banged. Back in downtown San Jose, and Julian Wright of Kansas at the line. Sophomore shooting at uh, 62%. Both teams have not shot free throws well throughout the season. I wonder if Julian Wright feels like a UCLA defender is going to jump up and guard him on the free throw. They've got <laughs> nothing this open. All game long. Kansas started out in this game eight for 13 from the field. Wright misses both. Two for seven in the game for Kansas after going 10 for 19 in their close win against Southern Illinois. After that eight for 13 start, Kansas has gone eight of 24. And that doesn't include, Dick, as you're mentioning, the missed free throw opportunities. There have been a lot of missed opportunities by the Jayhawks in this game. Holding away from the ball, it appears they're going to ticket Russell Robinson, his second. That is the first team foul on Kansas in the second half. UCLA whistled for only two. Russell Westbrook, the freshman now, relieving Darren Collison. 
seeing more and more action and this under incredible pressure for the freshman who almost going down with ship. Westbrook takes it inside. Big move by the freshman. He's a good size, 6'3, 18 years of age. And he was a big time scorer in high school, an outstanding athlete that's playing behind a great point guard in Darren Collins. And the Westbrook has got ability. Four points for him in the game. Block ticks down. Nearly six minutes gone, and that'll be a hip check on Aboya. Non shooting. Russell Westbrook very athletic also a good defender but going up against a freshman in Sharon Collins Collins unable to stay in front of Westbrook that broke down the entire Kansas defense but somebody's got to step in front and stop the ball take a charge that could be a big foul called on UCLA is it's three now in a Boya and he replacing uh, Mata with three so Mata has to come in so the two big men inside for the Bruins with three. Really, Kansas hasn't attacked very much inside. They've been setting ball screens on the perimeter, haven't been able to get too many opportunities in the low post. Rush with the left hand, and a follow is not there by right, and it finally goes to Westbrook. Ship made sure that there wasn't someone immediately behind. So often, the Jayhawks stripping the ball on their pressure racing down court from behind the dribbler. And more missed opportunities by Kansas. Not going to get many easier looks. And UCLA with the follow posting up, showing his strength. He doesn't miss those opportunities. Player of the year in the Pac-10, a follow with 16 to lead all scores. His dad, Benny, leading the cheers as UCLA opens an 11-point lead. Kansas is good enough to capitalize on those relatively easy opportunities. And if they want to win, they've got to start making shots inside the paint, whether they are challenged or not. And you saw the close range statistic, only 12 for 26 on the putbacks and layups for Kansas. Deep in the corner is Rush, and he rattles home a three, deeply needed by the Jayhawks. And remember, Kansas has had big comebacks before this season. They were down big to Texas and came back. They are not going to be deterred, but UCLA playing extraordinarily well and hard on the defensive end. Schiff just does get that pass as Chalmers hawks him defensively, takes it inside where he's jammed, and there's the steal by Chalmers. He's got five in the game. Rush, two in a row. No, and Mata's long arm, and the ball is knocked out of bounds by Arthur of Kansas. Westbrook out, gets a hand with four points as he relieves Darren Collison. And now the starting point guard, Collison, a sophomore, mother and father, Olympians, handles the ball on the point. And Westbrook doing a great job to come in and give him a blow. There was no drop-off at all. And it's going to be out of bounds to Kansas. Another turnover as Roll had a ball knocked off his knee. Well, he showed the ball. He showed the ball, and Chalmers so good at reaching to knock it away. Chalmers just doesn't slap at it. He reaches with a purpose, and he may be the best defender in the Big 12. He was Big 12 co-defensive player of the year. I haven't seen anyone in several years make so many defensive steals and deflections. He's from Anchorage, Alaska. Right, throws it away. Well, you can see the frustration on the part of Darrell Arthur. He and Julian Wright giving it to each other because Wright probably should have shot that ball rather than dump it off. Arthur goes out, and he's replaced by Darnell Jackson, the bulky 6'8", 250-pounder, number 32. Where's 32? Because of his idol, Magic Johnson. Under 12 minutes to go. Ba Mute and Roll. Follow working away from the ball. Mute again from way outside. Not normally his range. Well, that's not the shot that UCLA wants. He can make it, but it doesn't mean he should take it as often as he has in this ballgame. Collins works his way around Mata, takes it inside, and not there. Fights for his own rebound. The smallest man on the court. And it's Roll and Collison off US UCLA out of bounds to Kansas. 
And how many times have we seen throughout this March Madness the favored team, the better seed, fall way behind and then rally late in the second half to pull out victory? That's the position the Jayhawks are in. Number one seed against number two. Rush has it batted away, picked up by Collison. And he feeds Roll, and what a play by Rush, and the call goes against the Jayhawks. It'll be Rush who hit Roll up on the head as he uh, delivered the ball, his second foul. There's very little that Kansas is going to be able to do, taking it straight off the bounce without making any passes. That turnover allows the run out for UCLA, and Michael Roll taking it to the basket hard and getting fouled. He's had only six free throws all season long. We mentioned earlier he's in there primarily as an outside three point threat. That's his first miss, six for seven. Three points in the first half on the one long shot. Moment of concentration and meditation as Roll misses both. Kansas needs to start looking inside. It's been all the perimeter of late, and that's not a good shot at all by Sharon Collins. Collins a little too strong off the top, but another turnover as Jackson picks it up, and then Rush takes it inside with the turnaround. Well done. And that 11-point lead now cut to six. Well, that's where Kansas needs to attack. They've got a freshman big guy, James Keefe, in the ballgame. A good prospect, but they need to try to take advantage of his presence. Collison, Laflalo says, let's get it out here and start it over again. 20 on the shot clock. Mbamute, all away from out there. And incredibly, Mbamute has taken three shots that seem out of character for him and all have missed. Leave that shot by Mbamute, touched by a Jayhawk. Nine on the shot clock. Laflalo looks to the other end. He knows it's five, three, has to force the three. Oh! Another hit. That's twice in the game. Who knows when a shooter is going to break out of a slump, and Aaron Aflalo officially out of his shooting slump. 19 to lead all scores, and the answer deep in the corner from Russell Robinson. I mean, these shots are so pure, they're getting the net stuck up on the rim. What a shot by Aaron Aflalo, and the answer by Robinson. We approach the midpoint of this second 20-minute period in San Jose, the Western Regional Final. Number one seed, Kansas. Two seed, UCLA. The Bruins by six. Russell Robinson now guarding Aflalo, bumping him at every opportunity, but Aflalo does a good job creating space for himself when he has it. And Mute back outside to Aflalo. He pulls up from the line and hits again. That's a two. He must have gotten lonely. That's the first open opportunity he's had all game long, and he drilled it. 21 points for the UCLA ace. Nine for 14 shooting. Ship comes up with a loose ball. Great hands again by Ship. Collison won't go down. Great rebound by Darrell Arthur. And uh, Ben Holland across the way thought that Arthur had a little extra elbow and shaking off the defense and Collison picks up the foul. Well, Howland was right, but he had to try to protect the ball. But look at this shot fading away, not going straight up and down at the end of the shot clock. And then a follow catching it, going off the ball screen. Nobody steps out to either switch or hedge. And that's like a layup for Aaron Aflalo, the way he's been shooting the ball under pressure. Rare breather for Aflalo, who has 21 points on 9 for 14 shooting. Chalmers inside to Jackson against Mata. Mata with three fouls. Jackson forces his way in and draws the foul. A smart play by Darnell Jackson to back down Lorenzo Mata and go to the hole. There's been precious little for Kansas in the paint. And that's four fouls on the 6'9 Mata. He plays bigger with that broad shoulders, 240 pounder. He's asking Ben Hallen to leave him in. That's not going to be the case. No, I don't think he will. Luke Richard uh, Baamute is at the scorer's table, as is uh, Brandon Rush of Kansas. Darnell Jackson. 0 for 3 from the line in the game. And hits that one. 
Out comes Mata. In comes Mba Mute. And uh, Rush will replace Sharon Collins. Mata took one to the nose from Darrell Arthur. He's had that nose broken a couple of times. Jackson hits them both. And the Jayhawks cut the Bruin lead to six again. Eight points in the game for Darnell Jackson off the bench. Big possession for both teams, but if UCLA can get a score, they maintain a cushion. There's that Chalmers. How many times is he going to steal the ball? He has been absolutely fantastic on the defensive end. And how about the way he walked the tightrope, almost balletic, to avoid the ball when he makes the heads-up play. Watch, he throws it off of roll and then just dances away from it. Barishnikov. Anchorage, Alaska's gift to the Big 12 and KU. Sophomore Mario Chalmers, coached by his dad up in Alaska. Robinson, Arthur, and now Chalmers. Jackson inside, batted away by Aboya. A good look inside by Darnell Jackson, a very difficult angle. He may want to pass fake and then throw it up to the rim. 8-23 remaining in this second half in San Jose. Ohio State has qualified for the Final Four. The winner here will meet either Florida or Oregon. They play tomorrow on CBS. Ball batted out to Ship. One on one. Ship back to Aflalo. Inside and Bob Mute, and he has denied. Good hustle again by Kansas to get back defensively. Well, Darnell Jackson tried to keep that ball alive and tapped it out front, but that really started the Bruins' fast break. Terrific job in conversion defense by Kansas. Back comes Julian Wright as Arthur takes a seat. Collison finally finds Mba Mute. Well, it's amazing that Brandon Rush can chase Aaron Aflalo around all game long, and he doesn't look winded or tired at all. Under eight minutes to go. Summers on ship. Boy, he has earned the respect of the Bruins. Down to eight on the shot clock. Aflalo takes it high off the glass and gets the complete around the world roll on the rim. 23 for him. Well, it went around the world, and he's been all world thus far in the game. Aaron Aflalo has been so hard to guard. Chalmers slips as he tried to stop. The ball goes out of bounds, but off a UCLA leg. I have wonders of the March Madness as we head for the April finale in Atlanta. Seven and a half minutes to go. The number one seeds throughout the tournament have been challenged, haven't they? But somehow finding a way to win it. Ohio State from 20 down to beat Tennessee, and we're behind Memphis today. Florida drilled by nine. Carolina by 16 last night against USC. Can Kansas join that parade of number ones to find the right stuff down the stretch? Seven and a half to go. They trail by eight. Kansas is going to have to knock some shots down. Five of 15 for the Jayhawks in this second half. And there's another turnover. That'll be a backcourt violation. Collison picks it up and says, let's try for some points. Well, Julian Wright needed to chase that ball down, even though it would have been a backcourt violation. Another steal, Robinson. Amazing number of steals by the Kansas Jayhawks. 14 in the game. No whistle. Jackson inside, stolen by UCLA. Ten Bruin thefts. This is a highway robbery in San Jose. Kansas cannot get anything inside of the lane. Once they get into the lane, they've seen nothing but blue. The blue shirts of UCLA. And Ben Holland says, let's talk things over. Aflalo has been outstanding, knocking shots down, putting the ball on the floor, and getting to the rim. He has been not only hard to guard, impossible to guard for Kansas in this ballgame. 10 of 15 from the field, 23 points, and another steal by the Jayhawks. Amazing. Chalmers sets up Rush, had a three-pointer, instead takes it inside. Arthur handcuffed by the pass, now takes it up and scores. Well, how, Arthur. how about the transition defense by UCLA to get back and stop Kansas from getting a layup? Kansas really had to earn that layup by Darrell Arthur. Six-point lead with six minutes to go. 
Bamute to a Boya and a foul. That'll go against Julian Wright. First on right. Team fouls only the second on Kansas second half. UCLA with five. Darrell Arthur, you can see, just going over Collison, trying to get that ball up and in because UCLA's help side defense had been so good, but Aboya had to come off of Arthur in order to stop a drive. Aboya, one of the Bruins with free throw woes during the season, 56%. Well, they now click up on the scoreboard of uh, three team fouls on Kansas, five on UCLA. Aboya. And it's a bonus when Aboya and Mata drop the charities. Looks for his fourth point in the game. And <laughs> they're stepping up. Eight point lead once again for UCLA at the 554 more. Kansas continuing to use ball screens. UCLA doing a very nice job defending them, whether hedging or trapping. And look how much time UCLA making Kansas use off this shot clock. Five and a half to go. Seven on the shot clock. Chalmers outside. The long bomb is there. What a clutch three from Russell Robinson, his second of the game. He has 10 points. Well, I give great credit to Mario Chalmers for finding an opening, getting into the lane, and then kicking it out to an open shooter, Robinson, who is stepping into his shot. Each possession precious now. UCLA at the five-minute mark when leading this year a perfect 25-0. They currently enjoy a five-point advantage. They were ahead by 11 earlier in this half. Seven on the shot clock. Look at the pressure on defense. Bruins in trouble with four. Collison with two. Can he get one off? He does. Oh! And he hits. Oh, my! How many times can the Bruins beat the buzzer and collect a three? That wasn't over just one defender. That was over Robinson and Rush. What a shot by Collison. Clutch performance of all the pressure in the world. Almost a turnover by the Jayhawks. A save by Rush. Robinson spinning in and draws the foul. That'll be on Collison, his third. Darren Collison, not known as a contested jump shooter, but you can't have a shot more contested than that. And the Bruins on the bench enjoying the great play from their outstanding sophomore point guard. He led the conference in three-point shooting almost 46 percent on the season. But he doesn't shoot many. Bruins are eight for 17 on the three ball tonight. What a great switch off that screen by Aaron Aflalo. UCLA so solid defensively in guarding these ball screens. Under four minutes to play. Chalmers for three. Good rebound, Arthur. Gives the Jayhawks another chance, and he'll take it. Mamute, shorter, but tenaciously goes after that free ball. Well, Kansas is getting second opportunities in this game, but they're not able to knock anything down. 3.30 to go. UCLA not necessarily going to milk the clock. But they're going to be smart and use it and then get into a set. Right now getting into their four set. Four down, it's going to be Aaron Aflalo isolated up top against Rush. He's got the hurry now, and that's when UCLA's been at its best. And throws it away with one second on the clock. He's been so close to getting to the Final Four with Tulsa, made it to the Elite Eight. Illinois, Arizona knocked out his uh, fighting Illini, and then with Kansas lost to Georgia Tech in overtime a couple of years ago. And here's another opportunity for one of the game's outstanding coaches to get his team to the biggest part of the big dance. Three minutes to go. Robinson is fouled. And a strong drive by Robinson, but he got absolutely slammed when he went to the basket, and Alfred Aboya came down right on top of him. You can see. And for Aboya, that's his fourth foul, joining Lorenzo Mata, the two big men inside for UCLA defensively, each with four. 
And UCLA has decided look at that help side. I mean you're looking at four jerseys right there and Josh Ship was sticking right with Brandon Rush trying not to give up an open three off the penetration but UCLA not going to give up a layup without putting somebody into the wood. Here's Russell Robinson who migrated from New York City played at Rice High School. He was the Manhattan High School Player of the Year three years ago this junior. He's a 65 percent shooter. You can win and you can lose um, what many would feel the easiest of shots unguarded 15 feet away. Yeah but most people who said that have never shot at an environment <laughs> like this. That's exactly right. So much on the line as Robinson hits the second and UCLA's lead is cut to seven. But the Jayhawks are five for eleven and there's Paolo. He would have had he let the ball go it would have been UCLA ball but he reached out for it and again who was the man in the way Mario Chalmers. Well Kansas going with full court pressure after the made basket the trap off the first pass and Chalmers Bill Self trying to give him some more opportunities this time in the full court to make a play defensively. Here's Chalmers on offense. He is all conference defensive player but he's all world but he has his own treatment turned on him. As Mbamute was the man who stole it. Kansas has gotten nothing off of their ball screens in the second half. UCLA has defended them extraordinarily well. 2.26 to go, and the whistle foul is on Robinson of Kansas' is third. You can see Mario Chalmers trying to split these two defenders, and Mbamute just reaches in with that left hand and knocks it away. You got to be stronger with that. It's only the fourth team foul, excuse me, Jay, uh, now five team fouls on Kansas as Robinson picks up his fourth. UCLA has committed seven, so the Jayhawks will be going to the line from now on. Well, Kansas still wants to make sure they go after a steal. You just don't want a foul to get that foul count up. You want to get an opportunity for a steal. If you foul, then fine. Sharon Collins replaces Robinson. Robinson sits down with four fouls. Ship being chased from behind just does get it away to a follow. And there's a ball on loose ball, but a foul on Rush. His third, and that's the last before UCLA will go to the line with a bonus. Have you ever seen a game where there were 27 steals? I mean, a high quality game of this nature. 15 by Kansas, 12 by UCLA. Oh, you're talking about two of the best defensive teams in the country with great athletes that have been very well drilled on the defensive side, and they are going after this like you cannot believe. Two minutes to go, a deflection as Collison's pass was stolen, and who, a boy, got one in the face. Here come the Jayhawks. Trailing by seven, Collins inside, blocked by Mba Mute. Collison, no hurry. UCLA with 145. A flalo. Boy, there's a lot of slapping and hitting. No whistle. Collison, he just manhandled and finally the foul. Sharon Collins, when he spun to the basket off that drive, spun right into a defender. You can see he spins right into Mba Amute, who slaps it away. And that started the break for UCLA. And UCLA, the heavy contact. And Darren Collison dishing it out while he steps up to the free throw line. Arthur picked up the foul, his second. Outstanding has been Collison in the tournament, 14 for 15 from the free throw line. Well, he's just an extraordinarily efficient player. Shoots a high percentage from the field, just under 50% on the season, 46% from three, and just under 80% from the line. When you've got a point guard that has efficiencies like that, you are going to win a lot of games. He continues his red hot work from the line. Eight of 17 from three by UCLA in this ballgame. They have hit some really big shots in this game. UCLA has used its final timeout. Kansas has two to spend, and you can bet Bill Self will work those. But he needs some points. Nine point advantage UCLA. Rush inside. He's got two back. And there's one of the two timeouts quickly called a minute 26. 
seconds can be a lifetime. Kansas is drawn within seven. Team fouls are even. Both uh, teams will go to the line from now on. And uh, there are the free throw percentages. Ship of Flalo and Collison on the bottom are outstanding free throw shores. And Bob Mute and Aboya are not. But Roll has come in to replace Aboya, and uh, he is, although he's missed his only two chances tonight, a much better shooter. They've got the worst free throw shooter, Mbaya Mute, taking it in. So if you can get an opportunity to foul Michael Roll, I think you go with Roll, but you don't have a whole lot of choice. And you see, you need to foul Mbaya Mute there. Ahead to Roll, and wide open is shipped down court, and he doesn't take the shot. They'd rather chew up the clock. The clock is the enemy of Kansas. Aflalo being chased and fouled by Wright. Collins had an opportunity to foul Luke Richard Mbaamute right underneath the Kansas basket. Couldn't get there in time, but the freshman wasn't able to give up the foul. Aaron will follow to the line as both teams make substitutions. Offense for defense as Ben Howland sends back Aboya. And Aflalo, who has been unbelievably successful at the line in the tournament, 19 for 20. And gets the rim and the backboard bounce. His father. Think things aren't churning inside, Papa? Think it's harder to sit and watch than it is to play. A rare miss by a flawless. 110 to go. Eight point game. Kansas does not need a three. If they can pull the trigger on an open one, fine. Otherwise, get to the rim and finish it. Chalmers is unsuccessful. Allison spins away, but a foul is called on Arthur. That has been indicative of this entire game for Kansas. Getting to the rim with an opportunity to finish a play and not being able to get it to go down. Bill Walton, the great All-America, and the rest of the UCLA fans as they build the cheer into a crescendo that says, Georgia is on my mind, as Collison with 57 seconds to go. And the man who might have been the biggest question mark for UCLA coming into this season, Darren Collison, having to replace Jordan Farmar, who led UCLA to the Final Four last year. And Collison has been every bit as good as Farmar was. And Cooley hits the two free throws to build the Bruins' lead back to 10. And there's the steal by Collison, and then stolen back by Robinson, and he misses another close-in shot. Wright does hit on the follow with 45 seconds, and 45 seconds left here at HP Pavilion. And it's been no mystery what has put UCLA on top in this game with a great chance to win. It's their ability to knock down challenge shots, Aaron Aflalo, and Kansas missing opportunities inside the lane that could have put some game pressure on UCLA. Now you know UCLA is going to go to the line. There's the quick foul as uh, Chalmers from behind it picks up the foul. Something uh, rather remarkable on UCLA's behalf because it's been a team that's been winning in the tournament on defense, not on offense. And here against the Kansas team, as stingy as they come in allowing field goal percentage. In fact, 43 straight games, Kansas has held their opposition under 50. And here's UCLA shooting 52% tonight. But the problem has been they've had so many turnovers against this tenacious Kansas defense. Ship comes up short. Roll out. A boy in as Howland makes the switch to defense. Now Kansas has to look, if they can, to get a three point opportunity. Advance it as quickly as they can, but they've got to start looking for three here. Nine point game. They go inside. Wright has it picked off by Ship. And Baumute then fouled by Collins and another steal in this game and while it seemed Kansas had the upper hand in that regard because of the great work by Mario Chalmers UCLA has been able to answer time and time again well I think UCLA has won this game if they can hang on on the defensive end I mean, they've certainly knocked shots down but it's been their defense that really set the tone they, they have taken Kansas totally out of what Kansas wants to run every ball screen just incredibly guarded. And Baumute struggled at the line. Hits that one cleanly. 
If UCLA completes this final 36 seconds, they'll meet the winner of the Florida Oregon Oregon game tomorrow. The Gators, the reigning champions, and the Ducks uh, who beat UCLA. Bruins started 14 and 0 this year, and Oregon defeated them to end that early streak. Chalmers, and he loses it. Aflalo comes up with the ball. Down to 27. Mbamute with the exclamation point. Unable to connect from three is Chalmers. And now the white flag flies from the Kansas bench. UCLA will dribble out the final seconds. The Bruins know the way. They're back again to the final four. Led by their star, Aaron Aflalo. 24 points for the All-America. Aflalo.